Imagine a world where GPT-4 is completely autonomous and it can work in autopilot. You don't have to tell it every single step what it has to do, but it can itself decide what to do and then it can make actions based on that. And that world is not any more science fiction because today we have got an application called AutoGPT. It is an experiment at this point, but it is an experiment where GPT-4 can function autonomously. It's uh, it's actually a bit scary when I see the demo, what is happening there, but it is the future that we are heading into. So it's better we know that future early and then we embrace that future than restricting that future. So now what is AutoGPT? What is happening inside AutoGPT and what kind of systems AutoGPT is accessing is exactly what we are going to discuss in this video. And I'm also going to show you how you can run this if you want to run this. I'm not going to show you the demo in itself, but certain steps about how to run this for yourself. Let's get started with this video auto GPT or autonomous GPT for experiment what is this auto GPT is an experimental open source application showcasing the capabilities of GPT 4 language model amazing GPT 4 has already blown away the minds of a lot of brilliant people and we can see that now it is entering into a new territory where you can use GPT 4 to connect with existing open source applications and make GPT-4 more powerful than what it is. So ideally GPT-4 is a large language model that has been open sourced by OpenAI, but most of the existing GPT-4 applications have kept GPT-4 standalone. But this application tries to combine GPT-4 with existing forces of open source applications and it is trying to manage GPT-4, do a lot of things that GPT-4 otherwise would not do alone, isolated. So this program driven by GPT-4 autonomously develops and manages businesses to increase net worth as one of the examples or one of the first examples of GPT-4 running fully autonomously auto GPT pushes boundaries of what is possible with AI. I would like to quickly show you the demo here that is that is shared here. If you see this demo, this is a very interesting demo. To start with, what is this demo? Uh, this demo is using this application in continuous mode. The authors have already warned that it is not advisable to use in continuous mode, but the demo that they are showing is it's actually using it in continuous mode. So what is happening in this demo? To if it is it is GPT-4 running in continuous mode, or we can call it auto GPT. So here you can set the AI its purpose. So for example, you need to enter the name of your AI. And they have said chef GPT is the name of the AI or you can call it entrepreneur AI, entrepreneur GPT. And you have to describe the role of the GPT. So it says an AI des designed to autonomously develop and run businesses with the sole goal of increasing your net worth. So in this case, the chef GPT, its intention is to design an AI designed to browse the web and discover the next upcoming event and invent a unique and original recipe that would suit it. And now after this, you have to specify the goal and then it just just goes on and on. Like once you specify the goal, what you need from it, for example, in this case, invent an original out of box recipe, save the result and shut down after achieving your goal it starts thinking. Now you can see that it starts doing it says, okay, I will search. Let me pause it. I will search for upcoming events to find a suitable one for creating a unique recipe. So to create a unique recipe is going to find first an event to create a recipe, for example, Easter or um, some other event is going to come. So it's first going to find an event in itself. So you can see that is what it sought and it is going to look for an event. And you can see that it is starting to looking for all the websites where it can find the events and let's see what is going to happen. So it says it's thinking, it's browsing the web, trying to find the event. It uh, tried to find an event. It calculated the summary of it. And then again, it is still thinking it's still again trying to find an event because last time when it looked, it could not. The first search result did not provide a specific event I could use. I'll check another website for some targeted information. So it could not find the event. So it is again going ahead and then trying to find more events. So now it's trying to look for events in Auckland. And uh, now what has happened is I'll search for events in April 2023 events to find more relevant and specific event. My previous search result did not result in an event. Once again, it's looking for an event specifically for April 2023 and it is looking for more event. I'll browse the website with a calendar of events in April 2023 to find a suitable event for recipe creation. So it's further looking, it's further looking without any human intervention. So it is again finally looking. It has found some event, I think International Fun at Work Day. So it has got a multiple events. So it found an event Earth Day. So at this point, 
it managed to do the first goal which is to find an event for which it can create a unique recipe so it found an event that is earth day now it is further thinking so it has to come up with a recipe so using a gpt agent will help me be creative and crafted well crafted recipe tailored for earth day so it's going to create a recipe for earth day and it started creating a recipe for earth day so as you can see it's uh, it's creating something called earth day quinoa salad so that's what it is creating earth day quinoa salad and it has given us all the ingredients about how to make this earth day salad and it has got the result and uh, it says plus the bright and fresh colors of this delicious salad are sure to make you feel good about making a healthy choice for both your health and the planet and the demo ends here i think it's an exciting future to be in but also partly it's a, it's a bit scary to see that gpt4 as a system can communicate with a lot of extended auxiliary systems and collectively bring that strength of existing systems together and uh, give or work through a common goal um, i think it's uh, it's amazing but scary at the same time maybe it's me so how is this happening um this is happening because this system actually talks to a bunch of systems at this point what are those system it talks to it has internet access and it searches like search engine and collects information one so it can access internet talk to search engine or i should say communicate with search engine and collect the information second it has long term and short term memory management so it knows the context what is happening before it can have that memory uh, which is you know which is something that a lot of people have been trying it can use gpt4 instances for text generation and it can also access popular websites and platforms like we just saw and it has file storage and summarization with 3.5 gpt 3.5 and if you want to use this system all you need is to have python installed and you need to have open ai api key if you want this ai system to talk to yourself then all you need is 11 labs we have already made a video about 11 labs which is quite an an advanced technology how you can clone somebody's voice or your own voice so if you want to if you want the ai to talk back to you just like jarvis or something then you can add 11 labs api key as well but if you do not want it to talk all you need is python 3.7 plus and you need open ai api key and then you have series of steps how to do the installation it's quite simple clone the repository go into the repo install the requirements and then add the required keys in the environment and then once you run it you have um, you have the system up and running uh, if there is an interest i can actually show you how to run the system on your local machine so i can i can probably do that but to be honest like i think this is like a way forward like quite a leap forward from whatever we have been seeing with gpt4 people have been developing websites with gpt4 people have been developing content with gpt4 people have been developing games with gpt4 but putting gpt4 on an autopilot or an autonomous mode is something quite advanced like i'm um, i'm really excited to seeing this like how this is performing but also i'm thinking like what kind of repercussions it will have putting a full fledged powerful ai system connected with all the systems around us maybe uh, that's a paranoid version of me but uh, if if i have to look at an ai engineer in myself I think I'm really excited to see where this is going. If you like this application, if you're planning to use this commercially, please go ahead and support the developer. The developer is looking for sponsors in terms of any kind of support that can support their development process, API keys, development support, and anything. So you can support from GitHub repository, GitHub sponsor, and also different ways as well. Please start the repository. It can mean a lot to the developer, but otherwise, this is an excellent application of GPT-4, something that takes us a leap forward from whatever it is currently happening. Auto GPT-4, putting GPT-4 in an autonomous autopilot mode is what we discussed in this video. It's currently an experiment, but the code is available for anybody to use. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about putting GPT-4 in autopilot or autonomous mode? I would like to hear from you. See you in another video. Happy prompting.